Welcome to Smart Health Talk with your host, Elaine McFadden. Welcome everyone to Smart Health Talk and Halloween is right around the corner which means a lot of people are going to be out there shopping for candy, for parties, trick-or-treaters and you know anyone you know even just keeping around the house. Some people like to do that and kind of work their way up to Halloween but you know, now, now we're starting to really learn a lot more about some of the ingredients that we find in some of these candies. And uh, a lot of the information is not very good, and it's actually quite alarming. As a matter of fact, we had Rodale.com on our show um, just a few weeks ago talking about how GMOs uh, are actually making us fat. And that includes products like high fructose corn syrup and soy lecithin that you would find in products uh, like chocolate and candy. And there's also other things in there like artificial flavors and colors. Well, we have three great companies on our show today that uh, have candies that meet our mark of approval for Halloween and for just great snacks for the kids and for party time during the holidays. So um, I want to get right to it because I have one of our guests waiting. And this is someone from one of my absolute very favorite companies. And I am not alone. I am telling you, there are like, I, I don't even know. I, there have to be millions of people out there that love uh, yummy earth lollipops. And they make other for other candy as well, but those lollipops are quite a treasure because they're all organic. And we have Rob Wander on our on our uh, show right now. Did I say that right, what, Rob? Rob Wonder, yes. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, and he is actually a co-founder of Yummy Earth. And I got to tell you, Rob, gosh, what a fun job you have. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we uh, thank you very much. We invented it. Uh, we invented Yummy Earth Organic Lollipop about almost seven years ago for um, our little kids, uh, my friend uh, and I both had little babies, and we just imagined that they would one day want a lollipop, but as we know, or as a lot of people didn't know back then, but now know that lollipops are made with chemical colors and artificial flavors and other yucky stuff. Um, You know, I heard you mention high fructose corn syrup, and that is like one of my major pet peeves, and I'll tell you why, and it was something that you didn't even mention, but it drives me crazy. High fructose corn syrup could possibly be, and I'm going to say something you're going to flip out over, but if it was only in one thing, I would say, okay, fine, great. You Now, this is the thing that we could either have or not have that has high fructose corn syrup. Everybody could make their choice. But uh-huh. a walk down the aisles of the supermarket, high fructose corn syrup is in salad dressing, bread, ketchup, uh, juices. It's in, it is an insidious ingredient as if it fell from the sky and landed in so many, I dare say, almost, oh, I don't like universal, but let's just say it's in a huge amount of food that we don't even realize it's in. And the high fructose corn syrup is very sweet, and it's filled with sugar, and it makes people enjoy sweeter food more, and it makes you want to, it changes, it changes our palate and steers us towards sweeter food and away from uh, from natural food or food that tastes like food. Like it's supposed to taste. I, I totally agree with you, and I, I am, like, right on board with you as far as a pet pee because – um, I used to go to the high schools when we were trying to get bring attention to junk food on campuses, and it would be you know hot Cheetos and a and a soda, and they wouldn't even have breakfast. And I yeah. would see these kids eating like this, and we're supposed to they're supposed to concentrate and learn in the classroom, and like how can they do that? And this high fructose corn syrup, it's just like they never would drink water, like they. Well, it's funny. It, so you say the, when you say about um, concentrating. Uh, the artificial colors are, uh, they are banned in Europe, a lot of Europe, because they, they have been, there has been research that has shown that it pre- helps prevent kids from focusing and from, uh, and concentrating in, in, in and class. Concentrating, yes. 
and yeah. being successful in school so that they don't end up getting in trouble later on. I mean, these are, you know, and, and I know that there's been experiments where they've pretty much taken everything off campus and the, the kids that there was less violence on campus, they learn better, you know, and, and I hate this villainization, you know, of candy. Um, I'm a dietitian, but I would never say, oh, we, you know, you can never have candy again. But somewhere, I totally agree. But somewhere along the line, the definition of a treat got, you know, it got, you know, changed. Where well, it, when, I was, when I was a little kid, my mother, I have a twin brother, and my mother uh, would tell us, you can't have candy. She would, you can't have it. And what, what I learned uh, later as an adult was, uh, when I wound up having battles with food, was, uh, well, I think that I should have some of everything, a little bit of everything, but it should be made of something good. So when exactly. we wound up having kids, I said, oh, I'm not going to ever tell my kids you can't have candy. In fact, my kids probably have candy four or five times a week, but they have just a little bit. They have maybe seven of our sour jelly beans or one lollipop, which, by the way, only has... 22 calories. Hey, that's that's a great sweet fix. (laughs) (laughs) It tastes fantastic. I use the pomegranate pucker, the mango tango. And these flavors, oh my gosh, the flavors, everyone, uh, for Yummy Earth candy are so good. It's like when when you eat them, you start going, yes, now that is what, that's a real flavor. And it was real fruit. Yeah, because you're, it's almost like your brain recognizes it. It goes, okay, okay, this is the real stuff here, uh-huh, all right. And it's, and it's organic <laughs> sugar. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to hide from it. It's, it's organic sugar and or, organic brown rice syrup, but I have no problem with a small portion of sugar. It, my problem, the reason why we started Yummy Earth was I don't want a small portion of yuck, of chemicals, artificial stuff that doesn't even belong in food. And, and so... We made we made candy. I happen to be a foodie. My wife and I are foodies. So is my my partner Sergio. Uh, so we made them taste really really gourmet. And, and if people think that they can't give out organic candy at Halloween, then they haven't went down and saw how much they could buy a whole big bag of organic lollipops for. And it, it's very economical. It's just it, it's something that anyone can really afford. Um, you yeah. can't you can buy organic candy, everyone, and give that out at Halloween. Uh, that's why I was so excited to have you on the show because it's totally doable. And we Clark's Nutrition is our sponsor, so we have we I know that they carry your products, and so that's a that's a great place for people to start looking. But they that. they can also shop on your on your website as well. Uh, yummy, yep. yummyearth.com and yep. the selection that you guys have. I don't, we we don't have very much time, but um, why why don't you? Have, I want we everyone have twenty two lollipop flavors now. <laughs> twenty two, okay, and then you have like the individual, not just lollipops. There's like plenty of choices there. You guys will be in candy heaven, going just going through yep. the Yummy Earth website. <laughs> organic gummy bears, organic sour worms. These are oh all yeah, the worms, that, everyone. Like, you can still get your kids. <laughs> Worms. Oh, <laughs> with with my approval. <laughs> so, yeah, let them have a few of those worms. Uh, people don't understand. You know, they immediately, they meet, oh, I bet you don't let anyone have anything fun. It's like, are you kidding me? I'm not like that. But it's just, you know, that way too much, way, way too much. And what they're putting in things, it's like I can't even recommend regular food anymore because it has all this stuff in it. So just, it's not fair. So it's really quickly, fair. just just yeah. we we have um, about a minute and a half left, and I just give everyone a reality check on what they're what they're getting in these other candies. I you know just just give us like well, a me, minute. Um, you know the uh, the other candy, the things that that really bother me are the are artificial. First of all, as a foodie, and as I mean, a lot of kids are not foodies, but um, how are you ever going to? Show them something that tastes good if they don't taste something that tastes amazing. Um, a lot of candies are just made with artificial flavors. There's no fruit. There's no yum factor. There's no wow, that's amazing. Uh, and you can make candy taste amazing. Chemical candy just doesn't taste like yummy earth organic candy. And believe it me, doesn't. There, it do- there's no way. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, but the, the 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 bad part is like the the fact that you're consuming chemicals, if you don't have to consume the chemicals, if you're not, let's say, a prisoner of war or, 
or you're not being held hostage and being forced to, <laughs> why, why are you doing that? Why choose, why choose that? Uh, why not choose something that's made of good stuff? And so you can avoid. And you can feel good about it. Just like you, you, that's right. it was so important to you that you created a whole company. Because you just wanted to be able to offer that to your kids because you said, no way am I giving my kids that other stuff. And I want to be able to give them a treat every once in a while. And that's just exactly how I feel. And and plus, you know, the money, you know, like you said, it's like, uh, you know, your kids would have just a little bit, you know, through the week. How much is that going to cost anyone versus, you know, some of the, like even one soda? I bet what your kids... You you can get our lollipops now for... Uh, I mean, we've gotten the price down because we've gotten, I mean, kind of, you know, we're in like 30 countries now. So you wow. can literally get our lollipops for like 12 cents a lollipop. Like if you go to, can I say a name of a store? Yeah. Uh, if you go to Target or Whole Foods or you go to Toys R Us, you can get, uh, or Meyer or I don't know what, what all these, and Clark's, you can get a Yummy Earth organic lollipop, a whole lollipop, a whole organic lollipop for like 12 cents. So you tell me, what's, what's your excuse now? I mean, it's like 12 cents. We sell over 100 million lollipops a year. Wow. It that is so be, cool. <laughs> it might be 200 million. I don't, I don't even know at this point. It, it, uh, so well, well, the college fund is taken care of at least. <laughs> <laughs> from lollipops. Well, I can't thank you so much, Rob, for coming on the show today and, and and telling all this. And everyone, please think about getting some yummy earth lollipops for Halloween this year. And stay tuned because we're going to be coming back and learning about a gum that means our approval. So thanks so much, Rob, and happy thank Halloween. You. <laughs> you love this you too. Happy Halloween, everyone. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Be sure to visit our website at smarthealthtalk.com. 